Hey folks, welcome back to Link's Awakening. Here in level 5, the Catfish's Maw. I... This already seems more ominous than other dungeons. And someone mentioned which one was Spark and which was an Anti-Fairy. I don't remember which. I think this might have been the Spark. Any... Let's see... Oh, those were camouflage keys right there. Now then, can I make these? No, I can't. This looks like a job for the in the dungeon. So, with the red mail combined with the master sword, or the white sword, or the level 2 sword, or whatever. I'm expecting this to be something of a cakewalk in terms of combat. Ooh, oh my god, physics puzzles on a Game Boy Color game. Now, yeah, let's see. That was just me being stupid. This is actually genuinely pretty interesting. And key in here, that means I'll kill everything and there will probably be a key. Oh no, it's probably hidden somewhere then. Or maybe it's here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, actually. Oh man, everything responds! Damn it. I have no idea what this, what to do in this, in this room. Can't push that, to like... Oh, maybe I'll make a square instead. Well, it was one or two, so, whatever. This looks like a skull. Can I do anything here, or...? Is there more stuff in this? Hmm. I... I don't know, maybe I'll have to come back there, but I didn't hear a key tone, so... I don't know. I, I, I genuinely have no idea. Cute. Why are they abusing these penguins so much? Like, they were a lot more fun in Oracle Seasons where you had the magnetic uh, gloves. But I'm just seeing them everywhere here and they're just annoying. Open that up. Jeez, this is just like every annoying enemy. And it sounds like the limited sound channels thing in this, uh, in the Game Boy Color is severely limiting the music of this game. Or this dungeon. What is the purpose of all these, these broken thingies. Okay, mini boss. Uh Okay, this is a similar pattern to the one that I saw before, but only has one block here. So maybe I fight this guy four times, this is the first one, and that'll be the location of the last one. Total conjecture. Oh, that bastard. Oh, I can't break pots. That's another welcome addition in the Oracle games, breaking pots with the sword. This way. 
Now I can hit my traps. Kill the star, it's apparently just called a star. And again, I don't hear any key sounds, so I don't think that there are keys hidden in those, uh, pushy things. Dashy, uh, dash blocks. Bloopers! From Mario, naturally. Is there a way to swim faster underwater in the 2D sections, Goomba? I, I, I do not know. If there is, I haven't found it. Could have sworn there was one in, in Oracles, but dashing, uh, multi-pressing the buttons doesn't help. Yeah, we need the hook shot. If, if the hook there didn't tell you, we need the hook shot. So yeah, it seems like the only... Oh, wait, can I dash underwater? No, I cannot dash underwater. So I guess we're just doomed to slow swimming. Okay, maybe pressing multiple times in the direction goes a bit faster, but... Nah... And looks like I can't do anything here either. Well, this is just a cavalcade of progress. Cavalcade? Cavalcade? Cavalry Arcade. And these traps are just kicking my ass. Now, I already understand how to make progress to go that way. The, the right way. Or the way to the right, rather. Let's see, can I build up the momentum just on this one square? Hmm, I think I got caught on, on the thing, on the corner there. Let's try again. Yes, I can. Nice. 50 rupees. Still need the hookshot there. Need the hookshot there. Hmm. Now, yeah, the trouble is going to be getting back. I think I was meant to use the hookshot here, but didn't. Okay, good. I was able to get back. And you know, I could actually use a guardian acorn around now. But oh well. Grab that thing, I'd get a couple more hearts back, and that'd be nice. Oh, look, I didn't have to throw a pot at that one. Oh, this is number three. Gotta find the number two. Don't tell me I was actually right in that stupid conjecture. Because that'd be fucking stupid. And... Jump. Nice. And just in case it has... Alas, no. So I need to find the second arena. Found the third and the fourth. Already taken care of the first. It, it's probably just gonna be over to the right here. Oh, and I already switched stays press. That's bizarre. Oh look, here it is. Yeah, do I have to... So I guess he gets tougher. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm missing here. I'm hitting his head. That's how I'm doing damage, or at least causing him to crumple. And I think I might actually have to use the potion. Oh, I'll bomb it. 
I have no idea if that's the correct solution. That's that's what you do to some skeleton enemies in some Zelda games, so... Ah, that's the way. And, and I used my potion. Hopefully I won't need it for later fights. Oh wait, why does that not... Why am I hitting him now? Oh, does the laser... They wanted me to use the arrows on him, I see. I see how it is. But I was too clever for them, except now I'm hurt so I can't shoot lasers at him. Which means I just need to find another heart. Yeah, a piece of... I actually haven't gotten any guardian acorns now. I, I don't know what's up. Maybe something about changing the code caused Guardian Acorns not to show up very much anymore? When I was testing out the code stuff... Why is this not working now? Hmm... But when I was testing out the new version, Guardian Acorns did appear eventually. Okay, that's irritating. What the hell? Maybe there's a, uh, a Jelmalab on the other side that I need to take care of. Yeah, here's one. So yeah, I guess, I guess my goal now is to defeat the dungeon without the bow and arrow, even though it wants me to have the bar bow and arrow. You know, screw what the game wants. It doesn't know what it wants. Yep, there we go. 